the plans call for a, a little slot to be cut out on each side of the uh, yoke and uh, that's to give clearance for the exhaust to come out through the center of the crankshaft as the yoke passes over the center. So it calls for a sixteenth of an inch wide slot uh, by a depth of uh, 360 fourths. Now I don't have any sixteenth of an inch end mills um, and this isn't real heavy duty to uh, uh, cut through so I got my uh, Dremel cutoff wheel in an eighth inch collet and um, now this cutoff wheel is about 30 thousandths thick so I'm gonna have to right now I got it on center I'm gonna make a cut to depth on uh, on the yoke and then I'll bring it up um, about 11 thousandths uh, and then I'll bring it back down um, another 11 thousand so that'll open it up to um, uh, 62 I'm sorry this was 40 thousand stick so that would give me the center cut 40 thousand go up 11 take a cut then come back down to the zero and then go down 11 thousand so that, that'll add up to about 62 thousand uh, which would be a sixteenth of an inch so uh, looks kind of unorthodox and um, you know it's such a little bit I'm not too worried about the metal grinding on here and um, I'll come back and I'll vacuum everything up with with the shop back so all right let's uh, let's get going and uh, see how this works I think um, the way you can see is that's not a square it's more rounded the shape of the uh, cutoff wheel but if I could flatten that out or file but I don't think that's even necessary so all right and, uh, they're pretty much uh, done with making all of the pieces for this so uh, just a matter of assembling everything maybe it's a little filing some fitting and um, hopefully we get this thing running real soon well the hardware came today and uh, uh, if you guys remember me mentioning let me see if I can get this into focus here uh, I mentioned the other day that I was waiting for it to ship out, and uh, well, it comes today, and uh, here's the 256, uh, the 256 screw, and um, as you can see, uh, the dimensions I got uh, from the machinery's handbook, uh, I don't know, uh, these uh, countersinks need to go in uh, about 30 thousand steeper so um, yeah, we gotta not the end of the world but just gotta put this back in the mill and uh, countersink a little bit deep or maybe just do it on the drill press I don't know I, I like to get it nice and straight so it you know it stays so the countersink will stay concentric with, with the hole so um, so that's that so uh, we can I'm going to do that and uh 